This is the solution to written homework 33. Okay, so in part A, we're given three functions. So uh, for f, uh, in the case of f, it is as simple as possible. It can't be simplified. And its uh, domain is anything but 6. So that is to say negative infinity to 6 union 6 to infinity. And then <coughs> the simplified version of f is exactly as it was given. So f of x is 3 over x minus 6. And then g, g's domain is, well, G could be written like this. G of x in the numerator 3x, and then in the denominator um, x minus 6 times x. So now, in, in that way, G is just like f, except we put a factor of x in the numerator and also in the denominator. So G's domain G's domain is now anything but 0 or 6. Can't be 6 because that would be 0. Can't be 0 because that would be 0. Okay, so the domain is negative infinity to 0, union 0 to 6, union 6 to infinity. Okay, and then simplified. Simplified, uh, now that we've considered the domain, we can cancel that x. And g of x is now 3 over x minus 6, but on this domain. So even though this expression, you could plug in 0 to this expression, but you can't plug 0 into g because 0 is not part of g's domain. And similarly, for h, for h, uh, we could factor and represent h in the following way. So this would be 3x squared in the numerator and in the denominator. That would be x minus 6 times x squared. So it's like uh, someone put an x squared in the numerator and the denominator. So the domain of h is, well, because of this factor, we c x can't be 6. And because of that factor, x can't be 0. So the domain is negative infinity to 0, union 0 to 6, union 6 to infinity. Notably, that's the same as g, same domain. And then you can simplify this expression. So now that we have taken note of the domain, we can perform the cancellation. So h of x is therefore equal to 3 over x minus 6 on this domain. And now that we've carefully considered uh, the domains and simplifications, we can answer the questions. So part I, are f and g equivalent? Are f and g equivalent? And the answer is no. They're not equivalent. They're not equivalent because they don't have the same domain. You could plug 0 into f. You'd get 3 over 0 minus 6. You'd get negative half. But you could not plug 0 into g. So the answer is no. Domains, domains, uh, are not the same. Okay, so part I, I are F and H equivalent? And the answer is again no, because the domains are not the same. <coughs> uh, 
and then III are G and H equivalent. Well, G and H have the same domain. They have the same domain. And on that same domain, they simplify to the same expression. So the answer is yes. They have the same domain. And at every point, they evaluate to the same value in that domain. OK. So now determine the domain and range of the plotted function. OK. <clears throat> so the domain the way that uh, domain is computed is like the following. You take a vertical line and you sweep it left to right and you want to know all the vertical lines that cross the plot. Okay, so back here, we're not touching any of the plot, so this is not part of the domain. So we sweep, and the first place we start touching is there. So that's negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So starting at negative 8, okay, and we're including that <coughs> because that's closed, and then sw we can sweep all the way to negative 6, and negative 6 will be open. So negative 8 to negative 6, open. <coughs> and then in this region, there's nothing until we get to negative 1. And so it's open at negative 1. And then we can sweep <coughs> all the way to positive 2, and it's closed at positive 2. And then there's nothing uh, until we get to positive 4. And then we can sweep all the way to 5, 6, 7, 8, up to positive 8. <coughs> and we include positive 8 because that point's closed. Okay, now the range. is a similar procedure, except now we sweep a, uh, a horizontal line vertically. So down here, there's no y value. So this is not part of the range. So we sweep up, 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 until we get to the first y value. So that first y value occurs at negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So starting at negative 6, and it's closed, because that point is closed. And then we sweep and sweep. And now we have two points, so we're still in do the domain. Uh, sorry, we're still in the range. So we continue sweeping, sweep. And then uh, we lost a point. We lost a point. But we still have this point, so this is still in the range. It's still in the range because you only need one intersection to be in the range. So we're still in the range, still in the range, still in the range, still in the range. OK, we lost all y values right there. So then that is at y value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, and it is open. And I can see there will be more, so it's union. And then sweep. OK, it starts there. That's at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, and it's closed. So 7 to 9, and open at 9. And that's the answer.